Is our national bird, the blue crane, facing extinction? It emerged this week that a Northern Cape farmer from Richmond has since 2012 poisoned between 200 and 1,000 blue cranes. The, the reason's still unclear. 20 years ago, there were about 100,000 blue cranes in the country, and now the number's massively declined to less than 25,000. The iconic blue crane found on our five cent coins has been named the bird of the year for 2015. Now to talk to us about the issue at hand in our Port Elizabeth studios in the Eastern Cape, we are joined by Dr. Gerard Verduin, who is the director of BirdLife South Africa and, well, of the, and of the Griffin Poison Information Center. Good morning, doctor. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. How often do you find the cases of poisoning of these birds and, and how widespread is the problem then? It's actually very seldom that you find uh, deliberate poisoning cases of, cases of things like cranes and vultures. Um, and this is about the first one we've had in many, many years where people deliberately tried to poison blue cranes. Um, inadvertently, because of the misuse of pesticides, you often find that birds like cranes and storks and um, some of the ground dwelling birds and even vultures are poisoned. But this was the first time in many years we've had a real big poisoning of cranes in our, in our country. Extinction is the word that's on the table. Is that fair comment? Could these birds be facing extinction? Um, if the allegations are true about this particular incident, which we're still testing at this stage, and added onto that the climate change and the impact of habitat change and habitat loss and shortage of food and the collision with power lines, then one could quite easily think about a scenario where this particular bird might become extinct in the next 50 to 100 years. Um, at this stage, we believe there are about 25,000 birds of, of the species left in the world, mostly in South Africa. But if we don't put an immediate stop to all the potential impacts on the particular species, I can well believe that within 50 to 100 years, we can lose a species completely in our country. Now, in this particular case of this farmer that you guys are investigating, uh, how, how do we know how many birds are involved? How do we know uh, 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 what kind of damage has been caused? And also, what kind of measures do you then hope will be taken against this individual if found guilty? Uh, the problem is that this thing happened in 2012, and I only got the first information last week, Friday, uh, upon the appeal of the people from the Karoo to assist them with this investigation. Now, the, the fortunate thing about this, because of all the media exposure, all the conservation department authorities and um, the Department of Veterans Services and the police and everybody else now got stuck in, and there's really a massive investigation going on to, to determine how many birds were killed. In fact, there's a very strong allegation from some of the farm workers and the farmers in the area that at least 200 birds were poisoned. Um, we have a couple of carcasses that were taken by police forensic for analysis. I'm sending up my own samples to Johannesburg and Pretoria for analysis. And um, we hope to come to a conclusion within a couple of days whether the birds were poisoned or not. We firmly believe the birds were poisoned because cranes don't, don't just die in big numbers like that. And according to the information from the farm workers, um, at least 35, but most probably 200, and potentially more than that were poisoned in that particular period of time in, in 2012. Now, if we can prove the birds were poisoned, and we can get the affidavit statements from the particular um, resources out there, then you lay a charge against the particular person who poisoned the cranes under the act that governs the pesticides, the Animal Protection Act, um, the top regulations of the National Environmental Management Biodiversity Conservation Act, and also under the Northern Cape Provincial Conservation um, Authority's own Conservation Act. So there are many different regulation acts that you can use to penalize a particular person. And obviously in a case like this where it's a national bird and there was a deliberate poisoning aimed at the birds, you can go for a maximum penalty. And if you compound all these particular charges, it can go into the millions or maybe into a couple of years of imprisonment. Why would, why would a farmer want to poison this bird in particular then, doctor? It is unbelievable. You know, if you look around the farm in the Karoo, those people are crane mad. They all look after the cranes. They defend the cranes. They protect the cranes. But you find individuals in the human population that don't care about wildlife. And in this particular case, 
it seems as if the person believed that the cranes would have had an impact on these planted fodder. Um, that's also another contentious issue because we don't believe that the person had the permit for land use change and a water use license to plant the fodder in the Karoo. Now, obviously, when you plant the green patch like that in the Karoo, any bird that eats insects will come in because those, those fodder crops attract a lot of insects like the Karoo caterpillar, which is a favorite of theirs. And then with the wrong observations, you believe the cranes are busy impacting on your fodder instead of knowing that they're actually taking out the harmful insects. And that then triggered this um, animosity from the particular landowner. And we believe then that the guy, according to all information, according to himself also, that he deliberately put out poison maize um, and using an agrochemical or a pesticide to poison the birds to remove them from that particular crop. Well, that is very, very concerning. I thank you for joining us to, to point, point our attention that our national bird the blue crane could be in peril. Thank you, Dr. Gerard Fadouin, joining us Thank live you. from Port Elizabeth. Uh, let's have a quick look.